Okay, now aku. Okay, aku general do dia do dia a change saya no alo sem bi ja la. Alo so de no. Okay. Ah uh, general pastadon le kho ti chi ni a pha phen pian le pi do chu chu cha ya a. Mm. Okay, Pastor Don, over to you. God bless you, Don. Thank you. Good evening, everybody, and I see you guys. You made it back from the break. Yeah, let me hear what that is. Chang Tadi, hello. You are definitely some of the best students I have taught. You're very attentive. Thank you. Ah, you know them. Then be the Jang Daddy Tema, you know, Jang Toto Miam Miamma, then Ke Bubare, the Agape Jang to Jang Daddy, a tall song Jang to Jang Daddy Peter. Yay! Do me a favor now. Turn to the one next to you and say, I know my purpose. Do you? Ah, Ko Kemia Bima, see the logo, Leng you to Piroma. My purpose to you. Kemia at it. Kemia aboma. Naye, Kemia ye. Kemia ye. You a check. Naye, you a check on my TV. Look, your liver. Your liver. In the second session, I want to talk about what Jesus said we're called to be salt and light. Ah, Jesus Christ, oh God. General, do that you go. Sa. Sa lo piya me, alem piya me, sa piya me, sude a jang wo. Pyo de a ka ma tu ba pyo chin de, sude a jang ne pate yo jino, sude ya ao. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. Yesu Krito ga ma te kanji nga ma pyo ba de. He had just finished teaching what we know to be the Beatitudes. Blessed uh, are the. Ah, na me the lut luti miare ah akan pite no eli jan mate kanji na solo se luti miare kanji pite. Now in verse thirteen, Jesus says. You are the salt of the earth. A co a kanjinga ang esetoma yisuki doga. Then do the iloka i sapi jadi. If the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? Saga tu ye tu angango piolo si en. Ah, bilolo nga on lolo ye. It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Verse 14, Jesus said, the light of the world. Town built on the hill. A town built on the hill can't be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, they put it on a stand. It gives light to everybody in the house. Ah, luri ka, no, alengu, ah, migu, tare ka ma, saboy au ma matajya bu, saboy apo ma tin tare. Jesus said in verse 16, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Ako, isu krito ka, ane se chao ma ba se pyoda le su lo si e, Kemiado ye alengu lensi ba. Ela ne lorika 
Let's talk about what Jesus said we are. First, we're salt and we're also light. Jesus is teaching not just all of us collectively, but individually. You're called to be both salt and light in your world. Now, think about the salt. The salt is a seasoning. We don't need a lot of salt, just a little salt for seasoning. Our food will always taste a little better when it has salt in it instead of if it has no salt in it. Salt can also be used to help uh, preserve things, keep it from decaying. And salt can also be used in healing. Uh, it has healing properties. Salt. So what Jesus is teaching his disciples and what Jesus is teaching us, we are called to influence everybody around us like salt influences the food. A man named Albert Barnes years ago said that for the church to be salty, it simply means the church brings down God's blessings on society. Uh, uh, Richard Billboard uh, <laughs> Another writer says the church is to enrich and purify society. And how we do that is we, each one, have influence with somebody in our life. In your situation there in your country right now, it may seem impossible to make a difference in your country, but with God and your influence, you can make a difference. Mm. You are salt. Uh, 
It has been said by several that there are seven major areas that can be affected by a Christian and the church. So, the general Christian in the end of the Here's the seven. One, the family. Two, education. Three is the media. Four is the arts and entertainment area. Number five is business. Number six is government. Number seven. The church. Notice the only one of the seven where all of these intersect is the church. Now you think about it, how can we? Family unit in any society. How can we do that? Please understand the family is God's idea, it was His plan for earth. God started the family. And God loves the family. And all across the world, the devil hates the family and is trying to destroy the family. But through Jesus Christ, every one of you can influence your family for good. And the way we do that is to live our lives according to the scriptures and in so doing, lead our families according to the scriptures. How can we affect education? How can we affect the education of any society? We can be influenced. Perhaps you're in this classroom and God is already gifting you to teach. We need Christian teachers to bring up a generation of people in the knowledge of Jesus. How do we affect the media of a society, of a country? When I grew up, it was the newspaper or the radio. Now we have 
television, radio, newspaper. Ako TV si de, radio si de, newspaper di si de, trensa di si de. And now, <laughs> Ako. we've got this device, the phone. Ako to no phone si de. <laughs> when I hit this button, I have Google. I bet you know what Google is. Ah, uh, go. Do you want to know the the cool new lotion Google? See that? Google knows everything. Google, Tema, what lotion? Ah, lo, she lo yare. Yeah. <laughs> we can influence. We can influence a whole society, a whole country, with the use of this new form of media for the glory of God. Any phone net media net, you know, a Taiwago, Tayualong, Tamulong, Tanangalungo, Luanmo, Lo Yare. You see, I'm sitting in Georgia, you're sitting in Myanmar or Burma. And I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me. Hmm. Somebody is from India. Somebody is from Finland as well. <laughs> and Kimiado ga nga go chide nga America Georgia ma Kimiado mian ma bima nga le mendo go mian lo yare Kimiado ga nga le mian lo yare. That's the power of media. It's called Zoom. Media yet a sing pide erago zoom look for it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yay for zoom. And then we know have what? this thing called Facebook. Anybody yeah, have Facebook? Ah long do they my Facebook see chat, eh? Instagram. What's up? Instagram. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> uh, what's up? Bye bye. Okay. No. We can we can influence. You can influence your country by the positive use of the internet for the glory of God. <laughs> The Facebook dot internet dot com and so I don't build China Pier Pierre K Namado Tay Ken Shabuya I don't build night up it there one more name up it how do we influence arts and media how do we do that I said earlier some of you can actually sing hmm the anoping ya by IP and to know below one more name Molly who knows maybe you're called to be an actor Door. And you can use your Christian values and your good deeds can come out and you can influence your society for the kingdom. Gila de Kama. No. How do you hey change I came yaga? Kimi aye point the chin su china pian de lago. Sagapio champion de lago. A tai wangu learn molo yara pite. How do you influence business? How do you influence business? Maybe below learn mona male. Perhaps God is calling you to go into business and be a business person. Maybe you'll run a shop. Maybe you'll run an industry. Maybe you'll become company town book. Yes. You can influence for the kingdom of God. Now, 
Toughest question probably for you right now is to wonder how can we influence the government? Jesus said, let your light so shine that man may see good works. That's how you can influence even your government by your good works. And you can certainly Amen. pray, pray for the leaders of your country. They tell me it only takes between three and five percent in any area of influence to change or to affect it. Three to five doesn't take a lot, just a little. It's salt, just a little. In other words, we don't have to take over anything. We just have to influence it for the kingdom of God in a positive way. Okay, now, Jesus, said, Jesus said, not only are you salt, but you're also light, and light dispels darkness. Light always dispels darkness. Darkness cannot dispel the light. Alenga amongu amiran mongtode. Amonga alengu mongtolo mayabo. I'm told that on a clear night, clear, one candle can be seen for many, many kilometers. Toby, a general each one of you is a light if all of you together shine your light you can dispel a lot of darkness in your country now Jesus posed a question. Jesus said, you are salt. What happens if the salt loses its flavor? What happens if the light is placed under a basket or a bowl and it can't see in the room? What happens if the light is put out? Lights. Lights are not intended to be hidden. They're intended to be held up so all can see. 
What do you do when the lights go out? Light a candle. Or if you don't have a candle, get a flashlight. Uh, candle you can stumble around in the darkness and fall over something. Turn the light on. Ah, come here. Among him, I love me, dear Chema. Ah, the that me. No, she looks she. Eddie, that me, the Koga. The among who mong to my pity. Now, how how does how does salt lose its effectiveness? And Jesus said, it's no good, throw it out. How, how does that happen? Hmm, Saga to your angle. Two ways. Dilution, pollution. Dilution and pollution. Yep, dilution and pollution. In other words, if I dilute water, if I put salt and put it in a lot of water, suddenly it has less effectiveness. It's all dissolved in the water. Uh, dilution, Suraga, Sa Dilau Lau Shime, a Tema G, a the G Amya Telo Shime, to ye Angang Chinga Manaido Angan Pyotoma Pite. Every ocean, every ocean has salt in it, but it's not very effective as salt because it's diluted. Ah, pele daima na angani si chare tamé tu ye ngan china ti ti yau yau. Oh, ma pit nai bu ba pilo le suro pele jiga ta jilon de to jamu mang. If we as Christians do not influence our society, it is, it is diluted. We're ineffective. We're not making any change. And that's not the will of God. Can you please repeat again? If we as church, as church members, as Christians, don't use our influence positively we're diluted in other words we are ineffective we change nothing and the society continues to go on like it is okay general ani ne christianity ani ne general ye lwemu chin go general kaung de apai ga ni pi do ma lwemu nai bu a twe general a lo ya ma pi de e lo ma ho bu so ye general ye Let's talk about let's talk about pollution. What happens with pollution? In other words, you mix salt with all these other chemicals. Pollution got just uh Macong Macong all right, let, let me give you an illustration. In the Bible lands, there's a big, big sea, and it's called the Dead Sea or the Salt Sea, right there in, right there in Israel. I quote, you know, the Jansatema Dead Sea, Penleti Sura City. The Dead Sea is about 428 meters below sea level it is the lowest area on the land in the earth the dead sea 
The Jordan River and six others dump into the sea because it's low and there's no way for the water to get out of there unless it evaporates. Now, the Dead Sea is the most salty sea on earth, 34% salt. Mm. That's 10 uh, cool. times greater than the ocean. Okay. Uh, the penalty has solution. Angan Songdo Yi Pite, Tadi Ho, Jahai Nolo, Nande, no? Along the way, as the water comes to the Dead Sea, it brings not only the salt, but all kinds of other chemicals that dump into that sea. I did my solution to a sa angan the kute mauro bene the chemical sure luria to makaunge a dat tile ediani pit polara pite. That's why there are no fish or plant life in that sea. Nothing can live there. And a jung lo. That is one large polluted dead sea. And Christians today, churches today, are becoming polluted so badly, they're not making any change in their world. Four reasons why the church and how the church becomes polluted. Four. Number one, their, their first love. <laughs> Jesus said in Revelation chapter 2, he said the church had left its first love and he said, and goes again. What does that mean? First love means, it means the passion. <laughs> In other uh, words, so yeah, uh, but I'm uh, first love should I got a uh, but I'm so do you a cheat a check? No, and I go Eddie, but I'm so cheated. Jade Sandago machine or boo, and I will talk it and look your appetite. What that means is simply this. They no longer have a passionate love for God. Everything they do is lacking passion and purpose. Uh, <laughs> they're going through the motions. They're doing the religious things, but there's no life in what they do, and it makes no difference in society. Uh, 
What makes the church different? What makes it? It's the life of God in your fellowship. When you get together in Jesus' name, he said, I am there. Ah, General, Jesus said, if you've lost your first love, go back, repent, and love God again with all of your heart. Second thing, second thing that happens, how do you get polluted? You lose your spirituality. The Holy Spirit must be with you. It's not enough to sing, it's not enough to preach, it's not enough to teach unless the Holy Spirit is there, it's lifeless. Third thing, you become religious. Religion will not save anybody. Every, every country, every society has religion. You've got all the many, many religions of the world, 200 plus religions of the world, but where is the life that changes people? Let me encourage you not to be religious, but be a life changer because of Jesus Christ in your life. Our saltiness, our effectiveness as salt and light, if we lose our first love, if we don't have the Holy Spirit, and if we just become religious, we will not be good for anything. And the last thing, how do you get, how do you become ineffective? You become selfish. Selfish Second Timothy 3 verse 2, Paul said in the last days, men would be lovers of their own selves. We live in probably the most selfish generation ever. 
Menoro di muta di musera su tro a ko a teshini de musera su lojin a ko a te be nga a te be su be sai ten de muset de si de a chima a teshini da pite. You see, humanism tells us you are the center of the whole world. Everything must be to please you. Ah, humanism sude lori go ah adika thare as ah bale tonten chinga ba pyole suro kimya ro ngaro wa lu ta di pite ha cha mo ro lu ta di pyo sha ao ni ya me so bi pyo de lu ti si de selfish people cannot change society suro ko atwe be so bi shin sa de lu ri ka Community, a Taiwan go pupian, pion le lo. Pion le selfish people, selfish people can affect the family or the government or business. What a fact. Lo mio lo ta, lo lo mio di ga, mi ta su te ma, pian, a Taiwan te ma, ya yua di ta ma, a su ya ma, si pu e ma, pion le mu. Pishin a ma. The Apostle Paul said, for me to live is Christ. For me to live is to glorify God. That is my purpose, to glorify God. My purpose in life is not to do what pleases me, but to do what pleases him. My purpose in life is not to do what I want to do, but to do what God wants me to do with my life. When, when I am selfish, I have no salt. When I am selfish, I have no light to share. Ah, you know, at the best, you listen to see that come on, you ma. God does not want me to hide my light. God does not want me to lose my saltiness. I must then become passionate again for God and to rely heavily on the Holy Spirit. I must not, I must not become just religion. I must not be selfish. I must glorify God with my life. And when I do that, I can truly, I can truly be salt and light in my world right now. Today. Let me pray for you again. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for this classroom full of students. They will not only know their purpose. But they will totally fulfill the plan of God for their life. 
And they will go out and influence every part of their society for the glory of God. And their good deeds and their good works will be seen by everyone as a light in a dark world. Everywhere they go and in every part of their country. Yes, Lord. We pray now for peace in Burma. We pray the unrest will stop. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen and amen. 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 Mm. So beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Students are so happy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. God bless you, Don. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> uh, God bless you. God bless you. Too. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Great. Great. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Don, once again. Thank you, David. Oh, what a beautiful oh, welcome. teaching. Thank you, dear brother. And uh, thank you so touch. much. Yes, what a beautiful teaching. Yeah, yes. Very powerful. Mm. Charles, we'll see you on Saturday morning. Saturday morning. God bless you. Two meetings. God bless you. And I will get, uh, give you the flyer. I will send you that very soon. Thank you, sir. God bless you all. Have a great okay. day. Okay. Uh, you too. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye.